Hey vloggers, it's Kelly. I'm excited to have you guys back. I have something epically awesome to teach you today, so get ready to have your minds blown. All right, what we're gonna do today is take another website that has been made for you um, and embed it into your blogger blog so that when somebody goes to that page, the entire website is already there, okay? Uh, yeah, it sounds complicated, and it does have some techie stuff to it, but you guys just follow along, and I know you can do it. So here we are in our blogger, um, the page where we manipulate things, and you should be familiar with this by now. So I want you to click on Pages so that you bring up the pages that we're going to be doing. And today's page is going to be Real Transformations, okay? Uh, whatever you chose to call it, but the one that's going to have your transformation stories on it and we're gonna go ahead and edit that page. Okay, it's a blank page right now. And what we're gonna to need to do is click on HTML because we're going to be putting code in this page. So make sure you're clicked on HTML. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is show you a little trick that I did. I did a Google search for how to embed a website in a blogger uh, post, I think is what I said. And it, this is one of the top hits. I just clicked on this and I read through and I found it sounded exactly like what I was looking for. So I found this code that somebody had provided, copied that and came over here and pasted it into the blog. Now at this point, this is just random coding. It doesn't tell the computer anything. So now I need to tell it where I want um, this URL to be pointing to. So the website we're going to use is victorystories.com, which you may or may not be familiar with, but this is an epic website that was built um, to help you showcase all the transformation stories that have been um, earned by the blood, sweat, and tears of Team Victory and our customers and coaches. So all you need to do is to copy and paste the URL from the address bar. Don't just type in victorystories.com, that won't work. You have to copy and paste the actual URL. And then come back up to your blogger and you're going to click in here where it says URL and paste. Okay, so then you're going to click update, come back over here and view, and look at that, there it is. Can you believe that? Is that the coolest thing? Now, if you're like me, you're thinking, hey, that's really cool, but it's kind of small and I don't think people can really see it. You're right, so we need to go back into the blog, edit. Okay, we're still here in the HTML, and now I'm going to change the size of that window so that it's bigger and will take up more of the space. So here where it says width and height, that's where we change the width and height. So um, I had messed around with a couple numbers, if you ever are doing this on your own. I picked a thousand just as an outside number and put a thousand in each one to see where it was. It was really big, probably by about half, so I knocked it down to 500. See that? And so I just typed 500 in there instead and update. I want to view that page again. And oh ho ho, what have we here? Now you can see a whole bunch more of it. Um, these little buttons will let you scroll. Mom, I did oh, and my kitties just came home. Hey guys, mommy's recording a video, okay? Hi. It's okay. <laughs> All right, I think you've got it. That's about it. If you want to go back to um, edit just a little bit more, you can always go to your Compose page, click on the side over here and center it. If you want to have that centered um, correctly and if you feel like you've got more room, um, you can always see how I'm like, well, I could probably stretch this a little bit. You can just... You can just play with those numbers until it fills exactly the size that you want for this page, okay? That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and my kids coming in the house. 
<laughs> and uh, good luck, guys. I think you're going to do awesome. Talk to you later. Bye.